When the rain comes down, certain bugs come out. Ones that you don't really ever see in any other situation. From snails to various winged insects, ones that are considered harmful or invasive to certain crops, as well as more harmless ones. But why? Why on earth do bugs specifically come out with the wet weather? Hi folks, it's Falcon. And today on Waste Time, we ask the question, why do some bugs only show up when it rains? So just about everywhere, doesn't really matter where you live, unless it's frozen, whenever it rains there, and you go outside, you'll often find snails. And some people don't care about this, some people don't even think about it, they walk around, they're so used to it, they don't even see it. Some people are really weird, super into the observation of insects and whatnot, get down on the ground, lift up their glasses because they're farsighted and they're like, oh, what are the snails doing? Yeah, those people exist, I've seen them. And some people are super grossed out by it because snails are kind of gross. This is because most snails have a mucus barrier on their skin and I don't think anybody goes, yeah, I like mucus, that stuff's great. Most people think of mucus as snot and although that's not the only thing that mucus is, snails kind of seem covered in snot. They have this crap all over them because it kind of acts as a protective layer between them and everything else, as well as sometimes gives them a sticky substance to climb up stuff with, depending on the type of snail. Now it takes moisture in order to be able to make this because as you might be able to tell, although it's sticky, it is also wet. Snail slime definitely has a liquid component. It's a bit thicker and contains a polymer network, but if a snail never came into any contact with any liquid, they probably wouldn't be able to make it. Now, now, here's an interesting thing about a snail. A lot of them do actually have gills, and they do use them for breathing when and if they live underwater, but generally, they breathe through osmosis. That is to say, they take air in and out through all over their body. And when is the air at its most moist? Well, during and after rain. While structurally, earthworms, grubs, snails, and all of that are all somewhat different, but this is the general reason you'll see that category, the slimy category of bug come out. It's actually the same reason why you'll see a lot of amphibians come out, even though they aren't bugs. They also generally kind of slimy and need some air that's got moisture in it to stay hydrated. And that's generally exclusive to the slimy bugs. There are actually other reasons that all bugs come out, including the bugs we were just talking about, but when we widen our gaze to include ants and termites, a reason that bugs come out when it rains is because there are significantly less predators out when it rains. They can go about their business and, well, not get eaten by birds and stuff. There are way less birds in the rain. I don't know if you notice that. They tend to sort of hide somewhere like, I don't like this. Their feathers soak up the rain and make it more labor to fly. I'm sure that they don't like that, especially if they're hungry. I certainly don't like doing extra work when I'm hungry. Insect wings are just a little bit different. I'm sure the water does affect them in some way, but they don't actually soak up the liquid and become heavier. With ants and termites, the times when they actually do their mating rituals is rain. Again, specifically because there are less predators out. The queen of the colony and a few winged males head out into the air and do the do whatever you want to call it. I know that's the catchphrase for Mountain Dew, but you know what I mean. It's just weird to say when you're talking about bugs. You'll often see these things taking place during a rain, but if a rain stops, it kind of immediately opens up the activities to vulnerability. Once the natural predators see that the rain has let up, they oftentimes actually gather, ready for more of the various bugs that they like to eat to come out or be out already because they've been in the rain, either having sex or just being a snail. Snails are the opposite of sexy, aren't they? I mean, so are ants and termites, but ugh, snails. Anyway, it's not just to breathe moisture in. It's also not just to be healthy and engage in physical acts of love, which is definitely overstating what insects are doing when they're doing it. There's also one other extremely necessary reason that you'll often see bugs come out after or during the rain, and that's because a lot of them live in the soil, just under the surface, not very far, and and tell me what happens specifically when it rains. Well, first clouds have to form, lots of 
moisture comes together. That moisture becomes so dense that it has to become droplets. The droplets then become too heavy to stay in the air, thus they fall out of the air. When they hit the ground, what happens? Do they just disappear? No, they soak into the soil. If a snail, a grub, a worm, whatever, stayed in the soil, which is normally a solid and some degree of air can pass through it because it's not all packed together, what if they stayed in there after it's no longer soil, but rather mud? When the dry bits of earth combine with the water to become specifically a liquid that you can't breathe in. Well, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to stay down in there, does it? Not if you have to breathe anyhow. The snails that have gills, they don't have to worry about that, but they're generally in the water anyway. I don't know why they'd be out in the soil. Maybe they're bored, or maybe they can't be bored because they're snails and they're always in the water. So I wouldn't worry too heartily about there being snails that have gills hanging around in the dirt. They're not there, so don't go looking for them. And not in a don't look into the conspiracy, you won't like what you find sort of way, in a the snails that are in the dirt need to come out of the dirt when it becomes mud sort of way. And so do the earthworms and grubs. And maggots. Ooh. I just wanted to say that. So I like this kind of question. Gotta say that. I know I end up talking about philosophy a lot, both on Waste Time and on Game Ranks, which means much more open-ended questions with significantly more gray answers, but this is an absolute black and white. Here are the reasons for it. Can't complain there. So I have an important question for you. Do you find snails gross as well? Because I really find them gross. Let's meet in the comments. Talk about that. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. And if you're not subscribed to Waste Time, you are currently wasting your time. <laughs> Get it? Click that subscribe button right now, and you'll get brand new Waste Time videos every time we put them up, which is all the time. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter, at FalconTheHero. And we'll see you next time, right here on Waste Time.